Little Donnie has always been so special to us. I mean, he, he's got a, an enthusiasm that you really can't find anywhere else. Yeah, he's... You think you've got problems, you know, and then you see Little Donnie and what he has to deal with and the way he's just always so full of joy and happiness and uh, he's so open to people, it, it really puts things in perspective. Oh, Donnie's great, very bright. Because sometimes he gets a little sad when he sees the kids out in the playground and he's stuck inside, but generally, he's a really happy kid. Donnie has more heart than most athletes, twice the size. I, I just want Donnie to be happy, to find somebody who'll love him, you know, to be able to, to fit in with everybody else. I guess what I want for Donnie is, is freedom to just be a normal kid. And I'll do anything I can to just help him to get through life without the disability infringing on his ability to enjoy life. This holiday season, the Little Donnie Foundation is asking for your support. With your financial help, we hope to cure Little Donnie disease before another child like Little Donnie becomes afflicted with a penis the size of a horse's. Donnie is the first documented case of what we have labeled magnumus oblivio phallocytis. In layman's terms, that is uh, having an enormous penis, which you are unaware of. Yeah, so I uh, just want to show you some of the safety devices I've developed for little Donnie, help him lead a more uh, normal life. Well, I, I have to say that I don't like these devices. I, I think they call attention to his disease. I think they make him feel different. and. You know, his penis is really not that big. All right, honey, his <laughs> penis accounts for over 13% of his total body weight. Okay, you know what? We don't need to talk about this. Mommy, I got a chocolate milk mustache! <laughs> hey, uh, Donnie, we're going to show these guys some of the devices I've developed for you. you know what? No! Yeah. yeah, come on, Donnie. No! Yes, now, uh, Donnie. not all the devices no. have been as successful as I would have hoped. No! Uh, this is what I call a penis strap. And uh, the problem with this is that it caused some chafing. No. To really, to really get it to hold the penis down, you have, no. you have to cinch it sort of tight. Okay, okay, it's almost Donnie, over, sweetie. It's okay, buddy. Okay, okay. Wait, buddy. I gotta, I gotta get him. Um. Donnie really likes chocolate milk. I love little Donnie, because he always comes by and visits all our sick kids. Sometimes I can't breathe or keep any food down, but when little Donnie comes by, he dances, and I just laugh. <laughs> if I do not die, I want little Donnie at my birthday party and his big penis, too. We could laugh a lot, and then we could have cake. <coughs> I guess this Donnie's in for some tests. I don't know, these get-a-wish kids are all the same. The problem with most of them is, they feel sorry for themselves. So I just try to shake them up a little bit, you know? Snap them out of it. Hell, I don't even know what's the matter with this kid. Oh. Ha, 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 ha! Hello, hello, hello! Is there someone in here feeling sorry for themselves? You're not the Tatay brothers! No, Donnie. The Tatay brothers couldn't make it. I'm Steve Youngblood, the world's premier, out of fridge athlete, and a pussy's worst nightmare. Are you a pussy, Donnie? Pussy yeah, what's so bad that you have to... What the hell is that? Oh, that's his condition, sir. He has an enormous penis, but he's unaware of it. Oh, yeah? Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn a negative into a positive. Get up, Donnie. Come over here. Come on, let's go. You know what you got between your legs? You got a magnificent God-given weapon. Now swing your hips, Donnie. Come on. Oh, there you go. Come on, pump him. Pump him, pump him, pump him. Yeah! That's a two-foot defensive barrier we got there. Hey, light guy. Come on, come at him. Come what? at him. What? Attack him. No, come thing. No, man. No, I ain't going near that thing. Hey, come I ain't on. going near that thing. Come here. What the freak? Swing it, Donnie! Yeah. Harder! Ah. Get down! Yeah. Harder! Ah. Harder! Oh. Yeah. There you go! You did that, Donnie! We were in a 
our final performance at Cindy Center and uh, when we were doing our finale, some of the dancers noticed some movement in, in the auditorium. And uh, before we knew it, this young man, Donnie, had rose out of his seat and was in the aisles dancing and creating such an incredible vocabulary of movement that it was so much more inspiring than the work we were doing on stage. Fortunately for us, he came backstage after the show. We asked him to come join us in some of our rehearsals and we've just received a new grant which we're in rehearsal for a new piece which is being inspired by Donnie's movement and his freedom. It's astonishing. We don't know much about the disease, but what, what we do know is that it has more than likely mostly to do with genetics as opposed to something that may have gone wrong in a delivery room. The Little Donnie Foundation was formed in 1992 by an international team of doctors and scientists, including myself, who shared a passion for Little Donnie's penis. Now, since then, many surprising discoveries have been made, but unfortunately, a cure has yet to be found. With the enzymes we pulled out of Little Donnie's penis, we were able to develop a rocket fuel with 38% increased efficiency. 